My last video was for the intelligence community only. I'm opening up the conversation. Astronomers, NASA, and Elon Musk are allowed to watch the next video. Talking about the positive confirmation of a mass chompers visiting Earth. They're nuclear powered creatures. They are not spaceships. You're looking at an actual organism. It eats radioactive material and then it can digest small amounts of atoms of different varieties and turn it into huge amounts of energy. That's why I call them the mass chompers. I predicted their existence back in 2015. And you can create an open top. You can create an open top structure of radioactive concentrated materials to observe more of them. You'll have more of them stopping by. And they might even eat some of that uh, radioactive material. Like an alien feeder, make sure it's much larger than the creature itself so you don't trap it. Who knows what kind of capabilities it has. But that's why they're attracted to your nuclear facilities. It's like a bee flying through the woods and they're attracted to the smell of the pollen. And for those astronomers, you know, we're, you're looking for life in the completely wrong way. Life doesn't have to have photosynthesis and respiration. That's, a, that's just one combination that worked on Earth. What you want to look for to uh, find life in outer space is just anything that contradicts the uh, kind of natural order of things. Because without life, you know, the whole, everything in the universe could be calculated. We would know, you know, if you had a strong enough computer, you could look into the future of the whole universe. So what you want to do is, when you're looking for life is actually just find contradictions to that. Because that's when it tells you something there is purposely using the energy that's there to bend you know, what's going on, the timeline, to its own desires. Obviously, if you create one of those feeders, you need to make a no-fly zone around it in the airspace above it. And be conscious of the amount of potential energy in there. Obviously, if this thing eats it, you don't want it to be enough energy to destroy the whole world. We know about the cosmic seeds and the Union Intelligence Agency. Would be very curious to know what you found, if anything, on those comets. This can be some small amount of relief for humanity. Uh, if we can get confirmation with the feeder, because it means that our cosmic duty, you know, it's not, it's not all on us anymore. We could still be judged on how much we fulfill the cosmic duty. And the last thing, why are they detecting your facilities? That tells me that you don't have those shielded properly, or are they just open on the top?